Hello, everybody. It is your friendly neighborhood Easter egg head here. And welcome back to our Easter extravaganza weekend in Arc Pug Niche. <laughs> welcome back, everybody. Welcome. I hope you're having a fantastic day, fantastic weekend, and if you're not, well then I hopefully I can change that. Welcome guys, welcome to the episode after the episode where we were severely disappointed by the, well, <laughs> this guy. Yeah, we, we, we put a lot of time, effort, and to be honest, I've been hyping it up for, for quite a long time now. Ever since what, like episode 10, 15-ish, that we first came across the tech, primal tech Quetzal, actually is what he was. Um... He's a little bit, he's a little bit disappointing, but hopefully today we, we're gonna delve in a, a little bit further into his abilities and see if we can make him supercharged and powerful and see if we can really succeed, succeed? See if we can reach our expectations, basically, but it wouldn't be an Easter extravaganza weekend without one quick little Easter egg collection. That's right, we're gonna go on an Easter egg hunt. Um, we don't have to look very far, thankfully. They're all in one place because we got these little two dodos here with weird blue face paint packed up in quite a little tight space. In fact, I think we got enough Easter eggs already to check out the next of the, uh, I don't know, special Easter skins that they've introduced. We got 35 of them and I need another five. Ah, I miscalculated. All right, five more eggs. We're gonna need a little bit of wood. I feel like we've started the last two, uh, I feel like we started the last two episodes, including today, all the same way, in the same manner. Is that just me? Or am I going crazy? No, we obviously have. Uh, but it's all good. <laughs> Today's gonna be an exciting one. We're gonna wait. There we go. We don't have to wait for nothing. We've got all five of the remaining eggs that we need. Um, man, I run so fast now that I kinda gotta keep on just tapping it, tapping it, tapping it as we go. Otherwise, I just lose control of where I'm going. Let's light this baby up! We're obviously not going to get ourselves bunny ears, I've already said that, but, um, yeah, I guess we'll just get ourselves a little bit of a, an Easter chick hat instead. And there we go. Okay, let's go and switch this bad boy out for a new skin. How does it- oh, look at that, it's adorable. It's actually quite adorable. That's so cool. Anyways, yeah, that's us now. That's our little, uh, that's our appearance for today. We are chicken man. Little quack, wait, is it chicken? It's a chicken, right? Little chicken hat. We are Easter chick, man. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So we went and got us this guy here. Bloody expensive, like really, really incredibly expensive. Um, really isn't that great at all. We've chucked a couple levels onto him already, but all in all, like, damn, that wasn't very nice. Uh, yeah, just not cool, not very cool at all. However, apparently what we can do and I'm a little bit scared about looking into this because I don't want to be deceived or... Uh, it might be expensive, but we can add these modules, apparently. Yes, these modules. I don't know how expensive they are, but we're about to find out. Okay, they're cheap! Installing this will enable auto repairing on your tech dino. This will heal it faster over a period of time. Oh, then you got the melee module. You've got the speed module. 200% more speed. You've got the feather fall module. Reduces fall damage. Force field module. Okay. Defense. Health. And weight. See, what I'm curious about... We're obviously going to craft a bunch of these, so I'm not going to waste any time in doing that. But what I'm curious to see is... Can we equip multiple modules? Or is it, like, just one module per... Done? Like, I don't know. But I want to... I wanna, we're going to find out. In fact, I'm going to go and make another speed module. So I got two speed modules, and then we got a couple varieties. I don't exactly know how to even install these on our fella over there, but um, maybe it's like a consuming type thing. Like he consumes it and then, I don't know. Let's find out there. Let's have a look. So, speed module is there. Does that, did that boost his speed? Oh, it did. Have a look, 218%. Ah, oh, they're not stackable though. Auto repair module. It might've done something, I'm not sure. Melee module. Like, did it boost him at all? He doesn't feel like he moves two times as fast. Maybe, do we have to consume them? No, we do, we, all we can do is sit them in the inventory. Okay. Okay, well, all right, yes. Oh boy, he deals a lot more damage. And then, oh wait, oh yeah, and there's the second speed module that I'm pretty sure does nothing. Or does it? Am I moving faster? No speed modules. Okay, we're moving very slowly. One speed module. 
That's a little bit better. And then two speed modules. I'm pretty sure it makes no difference at all. So that's a little disappointing. It looks like, yeah, we can have one of each module, which I guess could be a lot worse. But then again, he doesn't have the whole ability that I wanted. The whole like bleed out effect that the wild one dealt to us. So that's, that's really upsetting. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's really, really upsetting. But I guess we'll just give him a couple more modules. That way he can take care of himself. And if we do ever decide to actually use him, um... I don't know, I guess he's, he's not as defenseless as he would be, I suppose. This health one, though. Yeah, look at that. 1.2 million health with that health module. That's pretty epic. It's just a shame. I thought maybe we could, like, make him consume them and that would be that. But no. No, that isn't the case at all. Uh, all right. We're very low in health now, but we have the auto repair, which means he's repairing. Um, wait, what was I going to check out? Oh, yeah, that's right. The force field. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. That's actually really kind of cool. I wonder how long it lasts. Forever? And ever. You stay in my heart and I will love you. I don't think so. But, I mean, that's okay damage. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's, it's nothing unstoppable. I can take this guy out, maybe. Oh, he's... Oh, he landed me. He landed me. That's all right. I got a force build. Oh, I didn't... Oh, snap. I forgot I'm not full health. Oh, I didn't think this one through. Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> I can't fly. Oh, he's grounding me. No. All right. Oh, my... My eardrums. We may have won the battle, but he won the war. Oh, my eardrums. That was so loud. So what I wanted to check out, right, was... If that bleed out effect, if we actually do have the bleed out, uh, I just got to find a dinosaur with a lot of health. This guy here will do 48,000. Yeah, you're my guy. So we can turn that off, I suppose. If I hit you, yeah, look, he actually is losing health. The question is, how much health does he lose? It's also very slow. I was, oh, that's it. Okay. So we dealt 38,000 damage in the end. Hmm. Is it dependent on the entire health of your dinosaur, though? I've got to find someone really strong to attack. The only problem is... What was that noise? Do these always... Guys, out the way. Do the obelisks... Always create that noise? I have no idea if I'm losing my mind or not. But yes... We do need to take this guy somewhere. I, I need to test him out against something a little bit strong. All right, 55,000. Okay. That's a little bit... It's a little bit stronger. How much damage have we just dealt? Is it a percentage thing? It actually might be. Because off of that hit, we dealt 40,000 damage. And that's more than we dealt on that last attack, isn't it? Or maybe I'm just going crazy. Come on, I'm looking for a big boy. That's a very weak big boy. It's not the big boy that I'm looking for. All right, that guy, that, whoa, Valkyrie. Okay, that would be the perfect demonstration right there. The problem is, I don't know if I can outrun it. Um, maybe I'll just stick to this guy. 99,000 health. Give you a little bit of a tap there. Okay, so he should, yeah, look, that health is dropping. Ooh. Oh, this guy is everything that I wanted him to be. We dealt 52,000 damage. He ended up dropping about 50%. The question is, okay, okay, okay. The true question is, I hit him once. Not quite. Hit him again. There we go. So he's going to drop to about 55,000. Right. Or 50,000. Or 45,000. There he goes. 47. If I hit him again, oh, of course he's going to die. So basically, if you can get this Quetzal fast enough, he should be able to two-shot any dinosaur. Oh, this is... Oh, this... We're, oh, oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no. I got rid of my ghrelin tonics. Not the ghrelin ones, the, the panacea ones, the red ones. I can't heal up my dinosaur right this second. So that's, that's, that's bad news. Um, 
Do I have anything weird that I can give this guy that will heal him up? I don't want to starve my dino. Okay, whatever. We can't. We got nothing that can heal him up. All right. That's disappointing, but it is what it is. So. Let's test it up. Let's kick it up a notch. 285,000 damage. Health, whatever. Let's hit that and run for our lives. He's going to outrun us, though. He's not losing much health. It didn't seem to affect him in the same way it affected everybody else. That's disappointing. I also do not want to get attacked by him. So we're going to just take a little bit of a dip down here. I wonder if we could hit something a little bit stronger again. Um, we got any bosses out here? This is like usually boss central. Usually there's, there's at least one pseudo boss somewhere around these parts. Yeah. Oh, no. Not that one. Any but that one. Um, I'm going to try it anyways. We're low on health. Very low on health. But maybe if I just crank up our movement speed, we'll be able to evade this battle quick enough. What a waste of levels. How fast are we moving? Not bad. Okay, we should be able to escape this if we need to. What well, we're going to need to, obviously. This guy is an absolutely... Oh, I don't want to lose my tank Quetzal after such hard work, though. Ah, stuff it. Let's go. Get that hit. Oh, no, we're dead. Run. Run! Tank Quetzal! You're gonna die! No! <laughs> oh, no! All right, run, boy. Run! Um, there's no other way that could have gone. I got a hit on him. It did nothing. So, you know what? At the end of the day, can't even be disappointed. Can't even be disappointed. Um, oh man, I am disappointed though. I can tell myself all day long, up and down, that I don't care that that just happened, but the, the fact of the matter is, that upsets me quite a bit. Uh, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. He never would have been able to help us, which is the disappointing part. He had that super powered attack that dropped dinosaurs by 50% of their health or whatever it is. However, it never would have, it never would have helped at the level of dinosaurs that we are fighting. So, yeah. The whole reason I actually wanted to create him, I don't know if I mentioned, is because I hope to use him against the bosses. I wanted to see if we could take him into the Ascension Arena with us and just instantly drop those dinosaurs down to 50% of the health, of their health, even if it meant sacrificing our Tech Quetzal to get the job done. Unfortunately, it looks like his powers just do not apply to some of the superior creatures in this world. So that's a bit disappointing, but we can't be that upset about it. My own stupidity is what got him killed just then. We decided to fight the strongest of all pseudo bosses because I'm a dummy. Oh, well, it is what it is. Now, on to bigger and better and better things. We found ourselves, last episode, something quite crazy. A Celestial Griffin. This guy right here. In fact, a very high level Celestial Griffin, level 812. 37, 59. I have no idea if these guys are tameable. In fact, if we head over to the primal bench thing of a Bobby here, I'm pretty sure... There's something to do with Celestials in here, I thought. Like, like there. Celeste- Oh, oh, that's- No, that's definitely a boss, that one. Oh, oh, and then he got this- Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. So it's the origins that are summonable. And then the Celestial, like, boss fell- I don't even know. Um, but I'm trying to work out whether we try to tame this guy or if we go for the kill. I don't know- Do we have any demonic dinosaurs? We don't. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. So it's like it's not like I've been blind this entire series and just have missed them or just haven't been paying attention or anything like that. So thirty-seven fifty-nine. Oh, do we go for the tame or what? I think we're gonna take my man, my lady's little brother. Um, let's do this. I've got what it takes, hopefully. Although that thing, oh no, I don't, do I? We do have... Oh, you know what? i got to see if we can inflict Torpor on it. That's, at the end of the day, that's what we got to do. Where is he? It was down here, I think. I didn't try... I forgot... I, I didn't... I wasn't paying attention to the coordinates. No, 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 no. Not here, not here, not here. It's just over here. Just on this beach, right? 
We swam past him. There it is. Right on top of a primeval dragon and a Mothra. Could you just stop attacking stuff, buddy? This would be the game changer. If I could, if I could tame this, this changes everything. Um, there's a lot of crazy creatures around though. All right, I just gotta land one. Oh, I don't like this, but I just gotta land. Oh, I don't want to get caught up in that. That's gonna be bad news for us. Oh, he wants me. Something tells me we have the inferior Griffin in this situation. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is that gives that away, but anyways, I've just got to hit it. I'm going to use my crossbow, as a matter of fact. That dragon, though. i got to get rid of the dragon. Or we got to tame the dragon. That's probably the smarter decision. Anyways. How did that not hit him? I can't even see because of these blue flames. They're so big and bold. Oh, we got it. Oh, we hit him. It only dealt 6,000 torpor, though. I need to know. I also need to not get caught in the crossfire. Um, all right. He's on ground level. I think we're going to bring Nagini over to say hello. I don't think there's anything else to do. Thankfully, we still have Nagini. That's, that's a positive. I think we're going to put him to work. The only problem is... Oh, no. There may actually be a problem here that I didn't consider. Do we need some sort of special... Aha! Uh -huh. Celestial kibble. This kibble is the only thing that celestial dinos are pet. Oh, no! Well, in that case... And you need a demonic soul? How do I get a demonic soul? We don't even... Oh, and I need 50 more apex blood. <laughs> we just spent all of that. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here that we don't have. Like all of that, for example. Cooked prime, uh, cooked prime meat's fine, whatever. Apex blood, we gotta collect. Caustic feathers, electric feathers, fire feathers, ice feathers. All the bloods are fine, we got most of them. Got the primal, got toxic, got the fabled. Demonic soul. I guess we've gotta kill a demonic dinosaur to get a demonic soul. But then, oh, I see how this works. We have to kill it, guys. We have to kill it. So basically, we have to kill a celestial to get the celestial soul to get demonic kibble to tame a demonic dinosaur. In the same way that if we find a demonic dinosaur, we have to kill it to get the demonic soul to tame a celestial dinosaur. I think I missed a step in there, but whatever. So basically, we can't tame it. We can't tame it. Not until we start getting a lot of Celestials and a lot of Demonic Dinosaurs spawning in our world, which unfortunately at this point, we do not have. So, I guess we gotta pick our weapon. <laughs> We're gonna pick our brutality, a dinosaur of brutality. I guess I'm gonna take Tempest. Just trying to think if we've got any better options. We've got so many dinosaurs to choose from these days. Tempest it is! Only because I like your little... I, I like the little tornado takeoff attack. It's not even attack. It just looks cool, okay? And now we set in along the long, lonesome road. Towards this big boy. I'm actually also quite interested in seeing what we get from the drop. I'm assuming he's going to drop the Celestial Soul. I'll be very, very, very disappointed if he doesn't. Um, wait, he's over in this direction. But other than that, he might he might drop us something else special. He might even just give us a Celestial Kibble. Could you imagine that? There's only one way to find out. And that's by taking this big boy down. Where did he go? He's nowhere to be seen. Wait, there he is. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. He's got... Ah, he's only got three and a half million health. Come here, big boy! Let's do this thing! Yeah! Oh. I should be careful. I don't actually know what this guy's capable of. But, there we go. Done! As simple as that. That was too easy. That was way too easy. We ended up with a Celestial Thalic... What? Celestial Thalic Oleo Saddle. 
Apparently that's a thing. Um, some tranquilizers, some tame helpers, and there it is, the celestial soul. The, the, I guess the main thing that we just killed this beast for. It's disappointing. In saying that, I wonder if I could have just, I wonder if I could have used something to instant tame it. Actually, we should harvest it just in case. Okay, just hide and meet. Maybe I should have just knocked it out and tried. But at the end of the day, I don't think, I don't think he was giving us much. Tell you what though, this guy is so done. Slow. I should have put more levels into speed. I wonder if we can give him a speed module to speed him up. That would be epic. Ah, oh, boy. Well, that ended up a little bit disappointing there, didn't it? Ah, oh, I really thought we were going to find a way to bring home a Celestial today. But unfortunately, things just did not go our way. I am going to have a bit of a scroll through here, though, just to have a quick little peek. It's been a while since we've done that. And, you know, there might be oh, a bunny oviraptor. Oh, I want to I want to steal one of these guys. I haven't found one of these yet. A bunny oviraptor. 1883. Oh, okay. Why are they all up there? 1883. I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for you. Uh, this is another one of the Easter dinosaurs. And I mean, I guess I'll just throw him inside my, <laughs> my little Easter pen over there. 1883, was it? Um, also, hello. Oh, what? A tech who laid an egg. I was like, what in the world is that? It's a shame it's not, uh, it's not fertilized, but, ah well. Imagine that. We went and kill our tech quetzal, and then it lays an egg for us right before it dies. That would have been epic. Unfortunately, it's, it's not really what took place. That guy. I can't wait to take you on, beast. I can't wait until the day presents itself. But I guess that day ain't today. Also, why is there a death worm out here? This is not death worm territory. Very, very interesting. Uh, this is gonna make my life a little bit harder considering that oviraptor that I'm looking for is somewhere around here. Land, buddy. There we go. Um, hey, death worm. Don't mind me, buddy. I'm just looking for a tiny little baby oviraptor. We also got skeletal gigas out here too, and that's that's not great. Okay, there's a lot of everything out here. Where's my dude? You want some of this? I'll take you both on. That's what you get. That's what you get. Ah, death worm. You're really gonna make me do it. You're gonna make me do it. You're dead. That's what you get. I forgot. This guy is actually quite drunk. Okay. Okay, back to business. We were looking for 1883. Is that a, hold on. Is that a, oh, it's a corrupted tech rex. I thought they had a different name, by the way. Pretty sure they do. Something's wrong there. Where, oh where? I got a feeling this oviraptor's dead if he was living out here. There's not many creatures that could survive in these conditions. Oh, would you look at that? I come over here and search it and uh, it is no more, unfortunately. Man, I wanna, I wanna fill this ceiling in as quick as possible. I'm so sick of standing out there in the rain. It really triggers me. Um, but I think what we're gonna have to start turning our attention to now that I mean, there's no more bunny oviraptor, unfortunately, and obviously no celestial yet. Unfortunately, I really, really, really want to tame one of them now. Now that I know that they're even a demonic, I don't care. Give me a demonic or a celestial. I'll tame either of them. We obviously got a bit of resource to collect before that is uh, going to happen, but it's still good to know that it's it's there. We can eventually do it at some stage. Um, but the other thing that we're currently working towards that we kind of put on the sidelines and forgot about was, of course, the Pugnacia mech. Um, the Mega Mech or whatever it is that we're saving up for. We've got a bunch of the... I think they're in here, aren't they? Here we go. We've got a lot of crafting recipes for these things, but we still need a lot of resources for them too. Uh, which one in particular? I can't even remember which one I wanted to craft. We've got so many of these now. I think it was... That one. Only because it is heavily cheaper. It's heavily discounted compared to the other ones. So let's go and put it up in that little top spot right there. We still need a lot of stuff. We need a lot of oil, a lot of crystal. Some of these other ones, I think they require less oil and less crystal, if I remember correctly. Or they just require a lot of everything. Okay, I thought maybe it was like less oil in comparison for... Yeah, no, I guess not. 
So things I've got to start looking out for. We've got to start thinking about where the best crystal collection locations are. We're going to find out what dinosaurs are best for, I guess, collecting these because at the end of the day, I, I haven't really paid enough attention to this sort of stuff. So I'm thinking, obviously, as far as crystal goes, though, that one of the better places to go looking for it would be around the volcano, maybe around the snow biome. Definitely not this island. This is mainly swamp over here. This is, well, desert. I don't know. Is there much crystal in the desert? And the oil is obviously in the water. We have ways of collecting that. That's not the end of the world. Um, or, you know, maybe we can just take my lady for a quick spin and actually have a close look. It doesn't take that long to come and have a look out here. Unfortunately, we've chosen the absolute worst weather, like the epitome of of bad weather for this little uh, exploration, this little hunt for crystal. Hey there, Dodo Rex. You know what? Why not? Oh. You want some of this? You want some? You want some of this? Come and get some, buddy. Yeah. Give me that soul of yours, mate. Pass to me your energies. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think it's safe to say, definitely no crystal out here. Like, there is just not a single little bit of it. Are we in a, we're in a sandstorm out here. Yes, indeed we are. Okay, well, at least we can cross the desert off of our list. A lot of crazy creatures. Unfortunately, no crystal. What about over here in the redwood forest biome? I didn't even consider this area. This is usual. What is that? A fabled gotcha? I mean, I begged. Oh, there it is. Okay, now we can actually see it. I wonder if these guys. Ooh. We could get one of these guys and maybe they can produce us like a ton of. That's not a terrible option, right? Taming a gotcha that maybe can. Get out of my way, buddy. Maybe that can give us. A ton of crystal? It's a fabled one too. So it might be like super duper special. It's an option. It's an option. I still haven't seen that big black portal that we came across that one time either. I don't know what happened to that. I don't even know what caused it. That was so weird. But I guess it's just one of those big old... There's a lot of weird stuff out here by the way. Alright, let's continue. Actually... One spot that there was a bunch of crystal very, very, very early on was along here. And it's, wait, really? It never respawned? It never respawned? We had crystal right next to our old original base. The key word there is, it was. We did. It was there. Not anymore. I'm really racking my brain to, like, think of where I've hunted this stuff in the past. We do have quite a bit of it. We've used quite a bit of it. But I do not recall where I collected it from. And to be quite honest, I, I'm, not, I'm not finding any of it anywhere. Unless it's hiding out on some of these little iceberg islands, but... Yeah, I don't think so. Which leaves us with one last place to check. Maybe, maybe one last little scour up here, but... It's, yeah, there's, there's just definitely none, I'm pretty sure. Unless they've just changed the appearance of it altogether. Yeah, we got one last place to check, and that is going to be the volcano. I'm telling you guys, there's no crystal in this world. Or it's just in very, very small doses around the place, and there just isn't like a, a main concentration of it. Maybe it's inside of the volcano, and I just haven't noticed it in the past. Or maybe there's just none of it. And we've collected all of our crystal from killing enforcers and supply... What are they called? Defense. Defense bots. Defense units. I mean, I, I actually think that's the case. I think I think all of our crystal has come from dinosaur drops. Maybe we just got to kill a bunch of golems. I completely forgot that rock golems would give us what we're looking for. It's just so weird. All right, let's have one little dip inside of the volcano. Like, it, it blows my mind that there is just no crystal deposit. There's nothing down here, actually. 
I think that's even more mind blowing. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Not today. Actually, he had a clean shot on me, too. Um, yeah. There is just nothing. I can't believe it. No, 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 no. Do not land on that. Do you want to die? You dummy. Because that's how you die. All right. So, as far as Crystal goes, I, I could be wrong. And I'm sure I'm going to read through the comments. And they're going to be like, dude, you flew straight past it. Dude, don't you remember? There's Crystal over here. Dude, dude, dude. But the fact of the matter is, I think all of our Crystal has come from kills. We're going to have to kill a bunch of rock golems. We're going to have to keep on killing defense units. De did defense units and that stuff even give it to us? I think they do. Hold on. I killed a bunch of them earlier. Who would have the resources for that? Spinebreaker. No. I think Tempest. But what's Spinebreaker? What do you got in here? You got, you got some darts. I'll take those. Okay. Nothing. Nothing of use. Nothing of purpose. Tempest. You got any crystal on you, buddy? You got some more dust. Oh, okay, I'll take some arrows. We got oh, two thousand element dust. Look at this. We got, we got. Oh, here we, we. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we, we got crystal, and it's a nice amount of crystal. I just don't know where it came from. What were its origins? Madness. And then I'm assuming we got, we got a bunch here. Not much. Yeah. See, we actually got no crystal. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna have to. I don't think we're going to be able to afford mechs. <laughs> oh, they might need to wait a bit. Because that's a lot. I can't afford 23,000 of it. And we need four of these guys. I mean, obviously, we can uh, get three weak ones and a strong one and then turn the strong one into like a mega mech, mech, mega one. But, yeah, I don't even know. But unfortunately, guys, that is where Chicken Man ends for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this one, which... It's probably not the greatest episode compared to previous ones. We've had, we've been so good lately, and then today, just because of the whole celestial demonic requirements to taming these creatures, didn't go so according to plan. But I hope you enjoyed it anyways, really, really do. If you did, make sure to go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups. And as always, I'll catch you guys tomorrow in our next video. Bye for now.